Credit Suisse CEO Ulrich Corner spoke to Bloomberg's Francine Lacqua. Take a listen to that. This is, as you say, a big day. We are all glad that we are there. It's a big day also for all our people. When we're announcing now today uh, what is basically New Credit Suisse. And what is New Credit Suisse? You know, it's a much simpler, more stable, much more focused bank going forward, which will deliver uh, sustainably profitable results uh, to our shareholders. And what is very important, if I may add here, um, how, we, how we came here, so to say, right. we took a very hard look you know, at the needs of our clients and designed everything around the needs of our clients. So what was your overarching theme? How did you come up with this plan? What was your reasoning in getting here? Many different reasons. I, I, I think, the, uh, as I said, the bank is, is, is slightly too complicated today. The bank has parts which are not profitable enough, as we all know, from the shareholder perspective. And that's why we came up with you know, the, the need of taking very decisive actions mm -hmm. in mainly three different areas. The one is uh, radical restructuring of the investment bank. The second one is significant reducing costs going forward, as you have seen. And the third one, very importantly, further strengthening of our capital bases. Why is that? Because we want to go through the transformation of the next three years with a very, very strong capital base and leave the transformation also with a very strong capital base. So, so these are, you, are the three things. Are you, are you confident that the announcement today actually puts the capital question to bed? Yes. A hundred percent. What kind of uh, conversations have you had with shareholders? No, we have permanent conversations with shareholders. I think they fully understand you know, our package, what we are doing in the area of capital, because not only the capital increase, I mean, we are doing divestments. We are you know, partnering up, for example, as you have seen in the securities product business. All of that generates a lot of capital and, and puts us through that transformation, as I said before. When does the new Credit Suisse become profitable? It will become profitable definitely from 2024 onwards. And, and, this, and, there, and there's no chance. I mean, there's always execution risks. Where do you see the main execution risks today? Look, one of the one of the execution risks, obviously, is the market environment. The market environment is a very challenging one. It's not about blaming the markets. The markets is the same for everyone, and that's exactly how we deal with it. But you know, it's a challenging market environment, and we obviously, as you can assume, we figured that fully in in, ter in terms of how we did our plans. But so does it mean that you had a more aggressive strategy also to to take account the, the market turmoil? I know there there have also been outflows partly because of the markets. So did you have to overcompensate? No, it's not about overcompensating. The market is, is one of the factors which we figured in. I think how we did the planning for the next three years is we tried to do it in an, call it, prudent, um, partially conservatively way to make sure that we, and that is very important for all what we are doing here, we do not want to over, uh, over promise and then under deliver. We want to do it the other way around. Talk to me a little bit about job losses. So I think it's it's 2,000 in the next two years, but then up to 9,000 up to 2030. Overall, going into 2025, as you have seen, we reduce costs by 2.5 billion yes. on a like-for-like -like basis. That comes with uh, like 9,000 job losses over that period, and with 2,700 as we speak now to get ready into the cost savings for 2023.